The United States snapped sanctions back in place on Monday to choke Iran's oil and shipping industries while temporarily allowing top customers such as China and India to keep buying crude from the Islamic Republic. Having abandoned the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, US President Donald Trump is trying to cripple Iran's oil-dependent economy and force Tehran to quash not only its nuclear ambitions and ballistic missile program but also support for militant proxies in Syria, Yemen, Lebanon and other parts of the Middle East. Global consultancy company firm KPMG is planning to hire around 8000 to 9000 people to expand its workforce in India. Around 10% of those employees will be deployed on projects outside India signaling the financial and business advisory company's shift on making India a global service delivery base. The company's latest plan hints at the changing scenario across the industry where in consulting companies like KPMG are being asked to implement solutions instead of just guiding companies on implementing future strategies. Social networking giant Facebook has teamed up with news agency AFP expanding third party fact checking program in India as it looks to combat the spread of fake news on its platform ahead of general elections in 2019. Facebook which in April this year had partnered with Boom said the move will bolster its ongoing efforts to clamp down on manipulated posts including photos and videos on its platform. A British MP criticized India's 182 meter statue of unity of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel as total nonsense. Conservative Party MP Peter Bone said to take 1.1 billion pounds in aid from us and then at the same time spend 330 million pounds on a statue is a total nonsense and it is the sort of thing that drives people mad. Bone is referring to Britain's donation of over 1.17 billion pounds to India as foreign aid in the course of over 5 years. Gold and silver sales are estimated to have risen at least 15% on auspicious Dhanteras on Monday as consumers thronged jewelry shops for token buying amid speculation that prices of yellow metal could increase sharply in the coming weeks according to industry players on monday gold prices stood at rupees 32690 per 10 grams in the national capital an increase of 6.5% compared to the hanteras in 2017 when the rates touched rupees 30710 per 10 grams What began as modest sales in the morning picked up in the evening with big organized players like Kalyan Jewelers, Titan and PC Jewelers that have national presence witnessing better sales of both jewelry as well as coins. It was better both in volume and value terms compared to last Tanteras as per industry players. Air quality in India's haze hit north including the capital New Delhi deteriorated sharply on Monday because of unfavorable weather and an increase in smoke from stubble burning in fields across the region levels of PM2.5 tiny particulate matter that can reach deep into the lungs and cause major health problems were above 400 in most parts of the capital and in some places soared above 600